Hey guys, Balkan Architect here and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to jazz up your floor plans in Revit. So here we've got a really boring regular floor plan and I'm going to show you how to add a bit of color, add a bit of light, light and a life into this uh, here floor plan, how to make it look more interesting and how to make it more readable. I think that's quite important when you're talking about graphics. It's not only about looking nice, it's also about being readable. But before I get started, I would just like to ask you to like this tutorial, it helps me out a lot. And if you haven't already, I suggest you subscribe because I make tutorials like this every day. Okay, so here I am, this is a project I'm working uh, for school and here I've got just a boring regular floor plan and I want to make it look a bit more interesting. So let's see where to start. Let's start off with these ugly chairs. So these are, well, they're actually really nice chairs. They're Charles Eames design, but I, I really don't like this. It, they're imported from SketchUp, I'm guessing. So they got this ugly mesh and it's brown. And whenever you're uh, loading uh, families from some website, you can get this ugly mesh. So how do you fix this? Well, I'm just going to select all of these, these six over here and these six over here because there you're not even classified as furniture so that's quite of a problem and now I'm just going to right click go override graphics in view by element and here you just need to find projection lines open this up so that these are the projection lines the, these meshes and let's just change that so let's leave the pattern it as what is and let's change this to black hit OK and then just to make it uh, seem a bit better I like to uh, turn on half tone and go apply and as you can see now it's this half tone gray and it kind of <clears throat> blends into the floor plan I, I like my uh, my walls to be kind of the first thing you see and then the furniture should be a bit gray so let's fix that let's set all the furniture to gray and instead of hitting everything every each element the quickest way to do that is to go just VG for visibility graphics and just search for furniture over here and just turn on half tone let's see yeah this furniture half tone apply and now if we move this out of the way as you can see everything is at half tone but if I cancel out of this and I zoom in over here you can see in the bathroom our sink and water closet are uh, they're still not at half tone. The reason for that is this is classified as plumbing or a plumbing fixture. So you need to go into VG again, search for plumbing and plumbing fixtures and just turn uh, turn half tone on that. And while you're here, turn half tone for generic models because some of these families that you're loading in might be classified as generic models. So you want to do that. And as you can see over here, okay, this is at regular tone for some reason. Let's see. Is furniture at half tone? Okay, furniture. Okay, okay. Okay, so this all works except for the refrigerator. I don't know how is it classified, but it's not at half tone. So you just need to right click it and manually override graphics in view and just hit half tone over here and apply. Okay, so we've taken care of the furniture. It now blends into the drawing and our walls are kind of in, in first view. But to make walls look a bit better, I, I don't like this batting line. You have to have it. It shows that you have some thermal insulation in the wall. Uh, but I don't want to have kind of be this aggressive and black. So I want to change it to some warmer color. First to emphasize that it's, uh, while well, it's thermal, it's warm. And the second to kind of blend more in and to have these uh, outlines of the wall pop up, pop out a bit more. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go here to manage. So go to manage tab and go to additional settings, find line styles, open this thing up. And here you need to open these lines. And if we scroll down just a bit, you have this insulation batting lines and here I'm just going to change it from black to let's go to some orange color and just hit OK, OK, OK. And as you can see, it's now a lot brighter and we can see these outlines of walls a lot better. It looks a lot nicer and warmer, I guess. OK, so next thing I like to fix is these here 
uh, grid lines uh, they're not really that visible because we've got just a bunch of lines and we can't see it so I've got these section heads that are kinda blue so I want to keep that theme let's do an orange blue style and let's select these theme lines go into edit type and let's just change the color to blue and just go OK apply OK and as you can see now all the, the all the grid lines are blue next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change the uh, to turn the half tone for all of the windows and doors again I want to emphasize all of the walls and these windows and doors will kinda be kinda second in command as far as uh, graphics goes when you look at the drawing so you're just going to see there's an opening and when you kinda look a bit closer okay there's a window that's I don't know has this kind of a design Never mind. So you just go VG again for visibility graphics and you scroll down, you find doors, turn the half tone, apply, OK, and then for windows as well, half tone, OK, apply. And if we zoom over here to the door, you can see we have this line that's kind of uh, dashed. Now, this doesn't come with Revit. How you get to this effect is, I already set this up earlier, I forgot about it. So you just go into VG again and you go to Doors and you open up this drop menu and here you've got this plan swing. And then you can override here and I just use this dot one millimeter line and that gives you this this effect where you've got this dotted line for the door. And here I've got some curtain windows so let me select the two of these and let's just right click override graphics in view by element half tone apply OK and as you can see now we've got kinda the, the walls are the first thing we see but we also see these dimensions and they're kinda aggressive on the drawing and while we're here we've got this orange color so let's add a bit more orange so I'm just going to select one of these dimension lines go into edit type and then here let me scroll down we've got color and let's switch to orange and I like to make it just a bit lighter so it doesn't pop up pop out too much okay okay this might be too much so let me just select one of these edit go to this orange yeah let's make it a bit darker yeah now you can see it better okay so what's the idea with these graphics is when you're looking at the drawing you can pretty much only see the the first thing you see is these hard walls so you can get okay we're entering the house here here we've got a staircase here we've got a living room this is kind of an outside terrace or whatever here we've got a kitchen here's the dining area here's a little bathroom so that's how the house works but and then if we zoom in we we can see okay we've got some dimensions over here okay this window is 70 centimeters whatever so you need to have some of sort of a hierarchy 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 okay uh, <laughs> you need to have this is first view is walls second thing is furniture third thing is dimensions and just to emphasize walls a bit more I like to make them a bit more aggressive just to emphasize these lines a bit more so I'm just going to go to VG visibility graphics scroll down find walls and here for cut lines I'm just going to override this and the weight I'm just going to go all the way to 5 ok apply and as you can see now walls are a bit darker and you can see everything a bit better so it's kinda clear when we look at this floor plan okay it's clear we've got walls are the first thing furniture is second and dimensions are third and because this is not going to be built that's why I left all of the only the dimensions on the outside of course you would need to have dimensions on the inside if you would uh, if this was a house that was going to be built and one more thing this this staircase over here it's kinda dark so let me change that as well and here we've got some railing so we need to change that as well so just go into VG visibility graphics scroll down a bit find stair let's see stairs okay and we have some railings railings turn the half tone over there just hit apply okay and now as you can see it's a lot lighter and now the whole thing looks even better so now we have hierarchy we hierarchy hierarchy god damn anyway <coughs> 
you can see where everything is and it looks looks quite cool actually okay so that's pretty much it for this tutorial thank you for watching please subscribe like and share this video and if you have any questions comments or suggestions for future tutorials please leave them in the comment section below thank you for watching and have a nice day